Hi, I'm Darren Strauss. Hi, I'm Lori Sandell. I'm AJ Jacobs. I'm Susan Orlean, and this is how I stack up. I'm a complete slob about everything, and my wife laughs that I alphabetize my bookshelf. They're semi-organized. It's not totally random. I have a little bit of a system that starts with the absurd and moves towards something a little bit grander. These bookshelves are great because they actually hide books. Oh, this is really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm the author of a new graphic memoir. It's called The Imposter's Daughter, about my father, specifically about finding out that everything he ever told my family was a lie. More Than Hurts You is my first book that's non-historical. I wanted it to be kind of a big book about ambitious things, but also be a Page Turner. My new book, The Guinea Pig Diaries, is it's a series of experiments that I did on myself to improve my life. When I got the copy of the book, I was really excited and I showed it to my son and I said, you know, look, mommy wrote a kid's book. And he looked at me and he was very serious and he said, I, I do want to read it, but not tonight and not every night. Philip Roth was the first one to show me that he could write about a life like mine and it could still be serious literature. Port North Complaint was the first book I read that made me want to be a writer. I remember starting with his short story, The Conversion of the Jews, and Goodbye Columbus when he was back in his sweet phase before he sort of, you know, became angry and somewhat woman-hating. But he is, to me, he's one of my all-time favorite writers. My husband and I were both huge Faulkner fans, and it was something that we discovered uh, on our first date, and I, I actually think it was part of the reason we ended up having a second date. Well, if I were gonna go onto Desert Island, I might bring the dictionary, just because I love words so much. And I could memorize the entire English language and make William F. Buckley look like a, an illiterate fool. I've been reading Tristram Shandy for 30 years. And I generally don't get past like the first 40 pages. It's a long book and it's really dense and maybe nobody's read it. In 10 years, very few books will be made out of paper. If I read an electronic book, I don't think that I'm doing some terrible disservice. Someone still wrote it, the fact that it's being transmit it in a different form doesn't really bother me that much. I think anytime you see that people really are excited about books, it's very heartening. It makes you feel like this is a very vital and vibrant form still. Now